I'd say under sixes when I started playing for Bangor for about two years and I moved to Menai for about to the age of under tens. And I was actually playing a futsal comp and I started I was just playing out feeling like striker. Then my mate said go in goals for a game. So I did well and won us the game and then he said come down for Sunday trials and that's where it all started really. So you get to play you played a bit of striker in the past then? Yeah, uh, I'd like to say I was good but no, yeah, uh, most of my life. I heard uh, in your school comps, mate, you were a bit of a striker. Yeah, I scored the winning goal against a couple of my teammates, and it was just a good feeling in extra time scoring the winner. Uh, usually we get picked up at 7.30, get to the training ground for half eight, eat breakfast, after that get changed to about nine, and then we're in the gym for about 45 minutes. So then have a bit of a sit down break on your phones, to about half ten, then we go back into the gym for activation, and then training starts at eleven to about half twelve. Then after that, lunch is about one. Then we have a bit of a break till gym is about three thirty. After that, poor recovery, and then shoot off home. What time's that? Uh, usual day five thirty. It's a long day, mate. So seven thirty to five thirty. So when you're uh, having your, your gym work and your uh, meals, do you get to socialise with the other teams and squads? Uh, well, there's two, two parts in the training ground. One for reserves and first team and one for the 18s. So it's just basically our group. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I would say it's a lot faster, a lot stronger and more technical in a way. It's a lot of playing out the back and as here, it's not, it's not just there yet, if yeah. you know what I mean. But no, it's a, the speed of the game's five times quicker. Do you think it has a lot to do with the fact that it, it's more of a uh, live and die thing over there than yeah, the, it's like a religion. Sport? It's a religion over there. They die for the football. Mm -hmm. uh, from about under nines to under sixteen, there's no table. But from eighteens, twenty ones, and first team, just tables. So do you think that um, that that's a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, in a way, it's a good thing not to have a table because you can just focus on the match and not worry where you're coming in the ladder, what, who you've got to beat to go through. Or, but in a good way, it's not so bad to have a table mm. to see where, how you're going like, during your games. And, yeah, fair enough. And what, what teams do you play against? All the, all the teams in England. So Stoke City, Man United, Chelsea, West Ham, all of them. But it's not like here how we follow the first team. So the under 15s might be playing Reading and the under 18s might be playing West Brom. So it's completely mixed. Yep. Uh, I usually stick to a certain routine, which is going to bed early, waking up, like drinking lots, at least a litre before we play, and eating a big breakfast. So for our game's usually 11 o'clock, just as, eat as much as I can. I think the other boys will be the same as well. Mm. Just eat as much as you can for the energy during the game. Is there a particular dietary requirement or something that you prefer to eat before a game? Uh, it's usually baked beans and eggs. That's the usual. <laughs> Sounds like a very English movie, yeah. mate. <laughs> I think it was at heart, at the start, it was half of them moving away at such, such young age of 14. But I think now they've just adapted it to it because FaceTime every morning. Mm. So it's, it's like being there with them. So technology's been able to keep that yeah, gap. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, players have failed in the past because of the distance and being homesick. Do you think that this helps with the technology of and course. the ability? Of course. Like, you speak to them, I speak to my mum and dad two hours a day maybe, just through FaceTime and so it's like I'm being home with them. So is Australia home or England home? Australia. <laughs> I call Australia home. Good, good choice. <laughs> it's amazing experience training with them. When you get the call up, you just, it's a buzz really. Because like you look at them, you watch them on TV, and to be training with them, it's just, it's just unreal. Do you, um, is there any that has particularly taken you under their wing or become a mentor for you? Uh, I'd say, yeah, Brad. Brad Friedel. He gives me a lot of advice, and he just, if I'm doing something, he'll pick up on it. And, but yeah, he's, he's been very helpful. That's excellent. I'd say moving away at such a, such a young age. Missing, like not being with your mum and dad every day, mm. like even my sister. It's just going into a different lifestyle at such a young age. Is, I heard a lot that I had to 
go over really. You know it's a pretty big thing when you miss your sister too, mate, eh? <laughs> no. <laughs> she says she doesn't miss me, but... She's lying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just put my headphones in, but I always got this thing. I always got to put my right sock, boot and glove on before my left one. Really? Yeah. Any reason for that? No, just... Did it happen one day and played a good game or anything like that? Probably. Probably. Any particular music you like to listen to on the headphones before you go out? Uh, a bit of hip-hop, house music, just whatever really. No whatever sounds good. No, none of that just yet. <laughs> I'll probably say Courtois. That playing Champions League at such a young age and where he's at now, starting at the World Cup at 22. Mm. I think it's incredible and that, that's a name for me. I look up to that. Do you think there's any chance of going to the English Premier League? Couture? Yeah. I don't know. I'd say so. Big chance? Yeah. I'll probably say getting goalkeeper of the tournament in Russia and winning on penalties against Zenit to get third place. That's, yeah, my biggest highlight by far. Excellent. Uh, usually just on weekends, just going to London with a couple of mates. and But during the week, it's if I've got downtime, just relax really. So lay in bed, watch movies, just relax really, just... And you're obviously um, boarded at a, a, a local home there? Yep. Yeah. Is there any other boys that board with you? Yeah, uh, one of the other goalkeepers actually, Liam. And he's, yeah, good man. Where's he from? He's from, he's from England, yeah. Southampton. Yeah, Southampton. Stands out, clearly. It was my second game on trial, and I've been caught up for the 16s, so playing up an age group bit nervous and the goalkeeper's hit it from his box and it's a wet and windy day and it's missed all our defenders. I've come out sh stupidly, tried to scissor kick it, it stayed low, bounced under me, the guys just put it in and I think we lost that game like 5 0 something, 5 2. Well, at least in it wasn't the one goal that made you guys. No, no. Nah. Alright, I'm going to ask what you I would just say keep working hard. Even though miserable nights of training, you don't want to train, just get through it because you can still take little things out of that. Just keep working hard and put 100% in. Do you think that the Australian players are getting more review now from, from overseas and, and clubs? It's building its reputation, especially so, after yeah. the World Cup? Definitely. Yeah. I think just take it day by day. I obviously have long term goals, short term goals. I just got to see if I'm not injured, that's a goal. But just to Hopefully play in the Premier League one day, play Champions League hopefully, mm -hmm. just set my targets high if not. I'm a Chelsea fan. So you're, you're at Spurs but you're a Chelsea man? Yeah, ever since the age of five. Any problems with that back home? No, no, because most of them are, they don't support Tottenham, most of them support other clubs like Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea. Fair enough. What? Probably mum's cooking. Mum's cooking? Yeah. You miss it? Yeah. Any one particular favourite dish that she's got? Ooh. Um. Oh. Just remember she'll cook it if you... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um. She does a um, good lasagna. Good lasagna. Fair enough. Oh. Probably a wash bag. A wash bag? Yeah. Was it really worth the money? No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> so, set up. So, you think you set the trends? Yeah, this jumper especially. I'll say that's very nice, mate. Thank you. Favourite movie? Uh, I'll probably say Olympus Has Fallen. Okay, fair enough. No, you don't go to any girly movies and have a cry up the back, mate? No, no. Too hard for that? Yeah. All right, Tommy, thanks very much. The Sharks miss you. We wish you all the best Thank you. with Tottenham Hotspurs. And uh, don't forget us. And right. uh, good luck, mate. Thank you.